Gods all over the globe, meet and take note of Lady Anna Darksky, a dark romantic goth who loves gothic literature for its darkness and sensuality. She loves the dark passionate immortality the gothic subculture has brought into her life. This gorgeous goth loves symphonic black metal. She considers herself to be an old soul played with an eternity of sorrow and grief. This lady loves how gothic aesthetics gives anyone who chooses to the ability to express their creativity to discover who they truly are as unique individuals. Ladies and gentlemen of the gothic world, meet Lord Albert Tuttle, a romantic goth who is the proud single father of three teens. As a child, he was kept under strict confinement to be normal. He grew up watching reruns of The Monsters, Elvira's movie Macabre, and movies about the occult and vampires. Though he's been a part of different subcultures, he never quite fit in and often felt different or weird for being attracted to the dark. The gothic subculture lets him express himself without ridicule or judgment. He finds the fashions fascinating, combining old and modern day styles. The music tames the beast within him, and the art indulges his creative side and his appreciation for beauty and darkness. Lord Albert longs for the day he reconnects with his creative side and finds romance again. Until then, he will wait in the dark. Gods everywhere, meet Lady Tsai Parsons, a wonderful, wise, gothic witch. This lady's kindness should never be mistaken for weakness because as she puts it, you shouldn't really get on the wrong side of a witch. Well, she doesn't judge because she's been judged all her life. She believes in the power of three, and what you send out will return on you threefold. And with that, she believes in the power of karma too. As an empath, she is drawn to helping some lost soul or another. She was raised on horror movies, and her favorite movie is the gothic romance classic, The Crow. Her musical interests range in style. Her favorite band is him, evidenced by her heartogram tattoo. She loves the gothic subculture's art, music, and fashion. Her soul lives on old gothic-style buildings and graveyards, which have always fascinated her.